Welcome back, everybody. Well, it is hot outside. The sun is shining already for a month, and we've got a whole summer to go. We always think about protecting ourselves, putting on our sunscreen, keeping the sun protection. Well, what about protecting our eyes? We don't give it enough thought, and we're here to give you some great advice on what you should be considering when getting your fancy sunglasses with Dr. Darian Angle, who is an optometrist. And Dr. Angle, I have to say, um, I've got a, a pair on already, which which are very Carrie Bradshaw, if, if you ask my opinion on these, that you think? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But I, I really notice as soon as I put them on, you can really tell the difference of a high quality pair of sunglasses, right? This is the idea. You, you really have to invest in this, don't you? Absolutely. And, and you're wearing a Maui gym and they, you don't get any better in terms of lens and protection from that company because mm. they were designed by surfers. You know, they have polarization which cuts off glare from reflected surfaces. I mean, your eyes relax and literally I've had uh, customers at Iris describe that as having a, a cool cloth over their eyes when they put on that particular sunglass. Well, let's back up a little bit. Before we look at some of the different styles you brought here, mm -hmm. explain to us uh, from a professional point of view why it is so important to be protecting our eyes just like we protect our skin from the sun. Well, UV is the most damaging uh, environmental factor when it comes to your eyes. Mm -hmm. So it's been linked to macular degeneration, cataracts, uh, skin cancers that around the eye tissue, bumps on the whites of the eyes. It really is something that uh, affects the eyes dramatically. It's cumulative over time and, uh, and it really is something that you have to be cognizant of because your eye doesn't have any kind of built-in protective mechanism. Mm -hmm. Your skin, although you, you need to wear sunscreen, mm -hmm. it will tan, it will pigment, but your eyes right. don't have that ability to do anything to protect. Right, defenseless. So, exactly, defenseless. Now, who should be protecting their eyes? Because there could be people sitting at home right now going, you know what, I hardly ever go outside or whatever. It, should everybody be doing it no matter how much exposure you have? Absolutely, because UV indexes have been on the rise for the last 20 years due to thinning ozone, due to various uh, environmental factors. So everyone is at risk and it mm -hmm. starts very, very young. In fact, by the time that one is 18, they've usually used up about 80% of what they can safely absorb of UV wow. and the rest is this damage that's starting to happen. So it's something that we're always, we're not aware of, but with kids, you got to start very young and get into the habit. Thank goodness I'm only a couple years over that. I mean, thank goodness. I've still yeah, Lots of time, lots hey, of time. Hey, Fage, stop <laughs> laughing there in the background. Okay, let's talk about some trends, and then I'm going to pick your brain on, on, on the perfect fit and things we okay, should consider. Perfect. So what kind of uh, trends have you brought for us here? Well, just in time for the new Sex and City movie, Big is back. Uh -huh. So all the new trends now are, are getting very big. I'll, I'll point you to this That's Dior right here. That's a good right one, Big, here. you know, the little... Uh, the, <laughs> Exactly. You know well, Kim Cattrall is the yeah, spokesperson for Iris in the summer campaign. Oh, is she? So this is something she personally selected. She she actually um, has selected a few that uh, she prefers, and this is Kim Cattrall's personal choice in is Dior. Is that right? Yes, and, well, and she's definitely. Well, got great taste. So in the go. movie, you see that there are lots of sunglasses mm -hmm. being uh, being worn there. Mm -hmm. um, round, big round shapes. So if you look at this model here, mm -hmm. an homage to Jackie O. Um, oh, still. Yeah present, still, style uh, still influencing uh, the fashion trends. And, and what's great about this style is that it's large, so it's covering a lot of the area mm -hmm. around your eyes. So you are getting maximum protection. The temples being thick, make sure that the peripheral rays coming in are also stopped in their tracks. So there's actually a lot of functional advantages to the trend right now. Dr. Angle, these are really good tips that you're giving with, you know, things for people to consider when, when purchasing them. What about uh, a fit for a person's face? You know, some people, you, you, you might see, okay, those glasses are way too wide for them or mm -hmm. too, what should people be considering when purchasing them? Well, with sunglasses, you definitely have a lot more freedom than with regular clear glasses. Mm -hmm. But if you've got rounder features, you want to go with more of an angular frame style okay. to complement the, the, the difference. But also you want to look at, you know, exactly what you said, the width, you know, you want to mm -hmm. make sure, sure your eyes are as centered as possible in the lens so that you can see clearly. Mm -hmm. And at Iris, we always like to start with an eye examination because we want to make sure that if you have a prescription, mm -hmm. that we're steering you in the right direction as to what frame will actually accommodate the prescription. And the options are plenty now. There are, most sunglass okay. companies will provide That's good to hear, prescription sun lenses. Limited. Exactly. And now you really don't have as many limitations, but you still have to be cognizant. If there's a little prescription there, even if it's slight, some people say, well, I, you know, I could see okay, my glasses are only part time. When you put on a dark lens, 
Mm -hmm. That little prescription can actually have a much bigger impact. So in some cases, you're going to be wearing your prescription sunglasses more than some of your uh, prescription clear yeah. glasses. Okay. Most of the ones that you showed me here, can you get prescription for them? Depending on the curvature of the okay. of the frame, the, some of them you can, some of them you can't. Definitely Maui Gym has their own laboratory, so they're they're great for prescription mm -hmm. eyewear, and, and they're able to actually built in with Maui your prescription. Maui Gym were the first ones that's that I had. Exactly. Yeah, so okay. that's a very uh, it's a it's a very good prescription. Yeah, and because these are quite curved, actually. So exactly. you would think that you couldn't. With no, these but ones. with the lab that they have, they're able to to calculate the parameters and make sure that when you put them on, that you can see properly. Because mm -hmm. if uh, the a prescription is made improperly, you know you're going to have difficulty. And that's that's important. With regards to uh, specifically UV protection, mm -hmm. I mean we're we're seeing some incredible brands here, like you said, Dior, Fendi, Gucci, Coach. Now, uh, can we m pretty much guarantee that that something high end like this is going to have the UV that we're going to need in the glasses? Absolutely. You, you don't want to go cheap when it comes to sunglasses because the opposite effect can occur. So if you're buying a, a non-branded sunglass from a not a reputable uh, mm -hmm. manufacturer or, or an eye care expert, dollar store, yeah, for a example, dollar store, for I'm example, just these are these are very bad for the eyes because what happens is they're dark. So you okay, you think they're dark, they're going to help me in bright light. But what they do then is make your pupils dilate get mm -hmm. bigger and so if they're not blocking the UV and many of them some of them do some of them don't and some of them only do partially and even with a little UV sticker on there it doesn't yeah. guarantee it you're actually letting more UV into your eyes so you're mm -hmm. actually better off if, to wear nothing than to you're wear a kidding. cheap sunglass so I would definitely say invest in a good quality pair because it's the only way you're going to keep your eyes healthy long term it's mm -hmm. the best thing you can do Wow, and I, I, you know, I'm not surprised to hear you. Say, I mean, I am surprised to hear you say that because I don't think people realize that you're, mm -hmm. you could be in fact doing, you know, a detriment to your eyes. But as soon as I put on these these high quality ones that I had on the beginning, I, th I thought, wow, what a difference when you have on a really great pair of glasses. Well, Dr. Angle, tell us, uh, tell the viewers at home where they can go get fitted and uh, and get a proper pair of glasses. Well, you can come to our Iris locations. There's 170 across the the country, and here in Ottawa, actually just down the street from the studio on uh, Rich there you can come in and have your eyes examined first then you'll have a consultation with uh, an expert an associate an optician who can then provide the adequate fit determine if a prescription is, is going to work for that frame mm -hmm. but also we didn't get into adjust that frame to your face because not everyone's face is the same you have to bend the temples you have to adjust that frame even if it's a, a good fit oh, from appearance that so that you can feel comfortable because actually Kim Cottrell even said it and when we interviewed her for, for its most campaign if she doesn't like the way they feel doesn't matter how beautiful they are, mm -hmm. she's not going to wear them. So that's an important part to the whole process, and you want to make sure it's done with wow. the best quality possible. Really great advice, Dr. Engel. Thank you very much for, for this advice. Incredible. As he said, if it doesn't exactly feel perfect, they can make it feel perfect because that's a huge part of it. Make sure you protect your eyes, everybody. You can find out more information at iris.ca. And as he said, there's a shop right down the street here in Westboro Village. We'll be right back after this with Easy Rock. Don't go away.